Microsoft's Windows 10 20H2 update is anticipated to be released within the next few weeks to the general public. The two main changes include a polished Windows start menu and replacing the current Microsoft Edge with Edge Chromium. Initially, I didn't want to make another Windows 10 video, but after testing the last three weeks on builds 19042.487 and 19042.488, it feels pretty solid. My testing was done using an Intel 10700K and AMD Ryzen 3900X. The GPU was the NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti, the driver versions 441.41, 452.06, and 460.15, developer drivers. Games such as Valorant, Marvel's Adventures, and Among Us were tested, plus Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 for rendering. With that said, how do you get the Windows 10 20H2 or Windows 10 2009 update today? First thing, take a system backup and then make a decision if you want the Windows 10 20H2 update to be your main OS or a secondary OS for testing. Any feedback or issues on this release should be recorded and reported to the Windows Insider Feedback Hub. Next, we're going to download the latest update for Windows 10 20H2 from the website uupdump.ml. Now you can always get the official release from the Windows Insider Preview website using your Microsoft account, but keep in mind, it does not include the recent updates. This is important for people that want to clean install with the latest version. I'll post the link in the video description. From your web browser, go to uupdump.ml. Go to 20H2, find the latest feature update to Windows 10. As of this recording, the latest feature update in Windows 10 version 20H2 is 19042.488. For most people, select the line with X64. Next, select your language and hit Next. Only install the edition you require and hit Next. Put a check mark to integrate .NET Framework 3.5 and then you can optionally select Create ISO with install.esd instead of install.wim to have a smaller image. Click on Create Download Package. Close Chrome. Open the folder that you saved the file to and extract the zip file. The batch file will run a process called ARIA. Sometimes this creates a false positive with antivirus or network router intrusion protection systems. If this happens, you can disable it until the batch file process completes. Creating an ISO will take anywhere from 10 to 60 minutes. Depending on your internet speed, it can take additional time to download all the files. Before installing, as a reminder, back up your stuff. Now, if you watch this video prior to the official release, you gotta proceed at your own risk. Any setup issues should be reported to Microsoft or the Feedback Hub. You can now either double click the ISO, use an app like Rufus to create a bootable USB, or extract the ISO to a folder. The choice is yours. For the purpose of this video, I'll double click the ISO, click next, accept the agreement. For most people, choose keep personal files and apps and hit next. The Windows 10 20H2 update will begin. This can take several minutes. After rebooting, you can go to the search bar and type WinVer. You should now be on Windows 10 20H2. Thanks for watching. Like this video with a thumbs up, follow me on Twitter at the Dave Stuff, and if you want to see more content like this, feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Have a good one, and I'll catch you later.